Hi guys, PJ here. Today, taking a look at Home of the Future Bundle. Now, this was just added to the Atom Store and it appears to be a house building kit to go with the Triumph Shelter Bundle that they recently did. So, in other words, this is based on Fallout 4 style houses. In other words, Sanctuary, where they're actually in good condition though, before the war, not destroyed, battered, etc. The bundle does show a variety of walls, uh, small sections, large sections, roof, carpet, and also a sort of mesh door. Not too sure about the mesh door. We'll see. We'll have a look at that. Uh, not too sure about the carpet. We'll you know, have a quick look at that. But the main thing is I want to see if, A, the roof is proper metal underneath instead of wood, like the majority of them are, and do they all clip together properly? Is there any bugs or problems? Because Let's face it, guys, with other kits and bits and bobs in the past, there has been problems. As you, if you know, if you've watched any more of my videos, you will have known about the problems. So, I've started building a shelter out here. This is the Triumph Bundle Shelter, and that is the prefab that comes with it. So, it's a prefabricated house. It's a big house. And it's in red. Now, that leads to something else. The parts that we've got in the new bundle do sort of match. They're pretty much the same design. They're not exactly the same angles and stuff. Um, but, you know, you could build a modern looking uh, little town if you like. You know, you could have all the same style of houses, no problem at all. You don't sadly get the little rooftop slit windows and stuff like that. But it's got the basics. It'll do the job. The porch sections are interesting in that there's sort of two heights to them so you can have a sort of single tier bungalow height and then there's another one that's got a half section roof above it like the one that i'm showing right now they're ideal if you want to build a bit bigger house um obviously you're going to have to use the panels to match that on the upper section of your house but that's no problem but in fact the only problem that i noticed with the porch it's not really a problem but it's worth pointing out you know if you're a builder and you're picky like i am you notice they're on a concrete block or a breeze block bottom section, but that bottom section has like a, a sort of white topping to it or light grey topping to it. We currently don't have a floor section, like a normal floor section to actually match that. So in other words, if you want to snap a normal concrete floor next to it so you can put a wall section on it, and maybe you wanted to build, um, I don't know, a bigger patio area at the back leading on to this porch area or garage type area that I think it is like a carport area. Um, you're not going to match it. That was a minor niggle, but worth pointing out. You couldn't go round the back with the same sort of texture and you can't change the bottoms on these uh, carports, whatever they are sections. So the, that was a minor niggle, but definitely thought it needed pointing out. The actual frames and pieces are the blue colour from Fallout 4. So they're all blue and you can't change the colours on them. You'll notice the prefab is red. Now earlier on I said I'd come back to this and my belief is they're going to sell us different colours. The carpet looks like it should be from the White Springs. I didn't personally like it but you may like it. Too garish in my opinion for one of these houses, especially a blue house. Um, but yes, I think they're going to sell us different colours of these kits, maybe even the destroyed versions. We shall see. Hopefully they'll sell us the floor pieces that match that edging as well, because at the moment, well, as you can see, they sort of don't. And I did go through all of the ones available and couldn't find anything. Other than that, I had no major problems. You can sort of toggle the blinds to fit, the wider blinds that, you know, if you bought blinds from the Atom store, you can get them to fit. The pieces snap together well. And wallpaper is not a problem. Well, apart from the usual problem of when you hang something on the wallpaper and then change the wallpaper, it disappears. But that's been in the game since sort of day one. Obviously, if you're going to build this in a shelter, you're going to be a little bit uh, held back. You know, you can't put sinks and stuff like that in. But the house does the job. It looks the part. I knocked this up in sort of 10 or 15 minutes. I used the door from the shelter pack that comes with the prefab house for the front door. And there's the mesh door on the back. So they're okay. You've got little windows. You've got bigger windows, of course, triangular bits, half bits. Overall, I think it's a nice kit. Like I said, I'm not too sure the carpet goes with it, but is it worth the money? Because obviously it wasn't that cheap. You can buy it separately, thankfully. There's your interior wallpaper. It's sort of a rusted metal effect. And the roof beams 
are steel. Key point. But yeah, I think it's worth it, guys, especially if you've got this shelter or this prefab house, because then you can build more of them. Let's just see, though, if they milk the living daylights out of this kit by selling as different uh, different colours. But yes, I like it. Glad I bought it. Would recommend it. Not really had any major, major bugs from it. So that's it, guys. I'll wrap it up from there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.